The Winona County Master Gardeners will be hosting the last in a series of workshops this growing season. During a recent visit to our studio, Tom Cuyava said this one will deal with a local invasive species, Oriental Bittersweet. Often you'll see them in uh, fall arrangements. Um, <clears throat> they're the uh, orange um, berry type of um, ornament. On a, on, it looks like a vine. And uh, there are two types. One is the Oriental and one is the American. And the American is okay. It's not what we call invasive. It doesn't harm the environment or it doesn't harm, uh, there, there's nothing as far as economics or human, um, uh, dealing with human uh, conditions. So uh, with that one, the uh, Oriental Bittersweet, the, it, it can overtake uh, a landscape, uh, trees, and what we want to do is eradicate it so it doesn't do that. So once this gets established, it just keeps going. Yep, yep it sure does. So what are we going to learn uh, per, uh, per, more precisely at the, at the workshop? Ways to uh, get rid of it? Uh, different uh, methods, I guess? Yeah, there's going to be, uh, going to get some information from Nancy Reynolds, uh, who is a local master gardener, uh, is going to give us information on how to identify it, uh, where to look. Uh, uh, and then uh, and Emily Justin is from the um, Department of Agriculture, and she is going to be, come with Nancy. And Emily is a coordinator for eradication programs, and she uh, is going to uh, tell how to eradicate uh, or go about the process. I understand that there is a, um, a registration process that, that people need to go through with the DNR, and they can get then their... Uh, um, their property uh, treated. Right now it's basically homeowners that have hired professionals to come and mm -hmm. uh, take care of the bittersweet that has happened so far in the Winona County. So we were talking before we, w we went on air here that Winona seems to have the biggest yeah. problem of this? Yeah, uh, the Twin Cities, Hastings area and Winona uh, County have been identified as the the areas that have the most uh, uh, oriental bittersweet. And so we're right in there as far as trying to pitch to get rid of it. And there's no way we can make money off of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that I know of anyway. <laughs> Otherwise we'd all be rich. We'd have so much of it. Right. Uh, so where is the workshop going to be held? It's going to be held uh, where the other ones have been at uh, Stone Point Park. And that's up by, by the uh, old landfill off of 43. Uh, and it's going to be, I'm not sure if, there are a couple hoop houses uh, that people grow plants in. And it, the, the workshop may be there or it may be by the garden, but when people get there, they'll, there'll be directions that will tell them where it's going to be. And if, it, if there is uh, inclement weather, then uh, our spot is the uh, Wilson uh, township uh, fire hall that we'll be at, but there will be signs letting people know. Okay, so and it's in the latter part of October here, so uh, make sure you dress appropriately. I yep, imagine. yep. October 25th uh, is the date that we're going to have it, and uh, we're asking people to bring their own seating, uh, lawn chairs or whatever, and in this case there might be some hiking into the woods to uh, just show people uh, what the what the plant looks like and where it might be found. So wearing some comfortable shoes and, and uh, appropriate gear would be appro uh, would be uh, needed also. And uh, pre-registration is that required for the event? <clears throat> pre-registration is not required. Uh, there is a uh, an online registration that people can. Um, go to to get registered and basically it's to make sure that we have enough materials uh, because there are going to be some hand handouts that will be given to um, people there that come. Okay, very good. And uh, again, this is coming up October 25th? So. October 25th, next Saturday and um, uh, yeah, from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Again, those attending should bring their own seating and in case of rain, the workshop will be held at the Wilson Fire Hall.